Okay, so where do I put this? All right, so. <laughs> or is there a dimensional shape? What, what are the coordinates? Well, it there's not really much choice. It's only one point. But you, well, can you can't even have a, you can't even have coordinates because there are enough dimensions. Yeah, it's interesting. So we're not sure about that. Okay, so the 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 one point is a little hard to know. If I just had a line here and I told you this was a cube, our, our cube, what what would the coordinates be for well, this? You could start at maybe zero. And then you go to one. As you move over a unit of one. Okay. So then I have zeros and ones, and so the 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 two coordinates correspond to zeros and ones. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should make those sets to say that it's not. So it's one thing in the set, one thing in the set. Yeah. Okay. So now what's going on here? So with this. Um, we can, we start off with zero, zero, and then we have one, zero, or one, zero, and zero, one, okay. and then one, one. So zero, zero, and then our things that are two are zero, one, and one, zero, and then, and, you have one, one. And then I have one, one. So we can see that our different sets of layers are kind of just turning a coordinate to one each time. So as you move up, you turn more coordinates to one. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how that corresponds in a cube. Well, let's see. Start off with zero, zero, and then you move out and go to zero, or zero, one, zero, zero. Zero one zero or zero zero one. Okay. And that corresponds to the next layer. Yeah. So I start out at. Sorry, I'm writing through the tripod and I'm writing messy. So zero 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 is all by itself. Yeah. And then I have this collection of three zero. So what was it? You said one zero zero. Zero one zero and zero zero one. And then you can make collection of three where you have two of the coordinates being one. Okay, so what would those be? So you can do the same thing. We can pick where the zeros go. So zero, one, one. Okay. Zero, one, one. One, zero, one. One, zero, one. And one, one. One, one, zero. One, one, zero. So you'd have these three. Okay. And then you have the last set, one, 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 one. where all of the points are. Yeah, and for purposes of this cube, I, I want it to be oriented like this. So this is going from, this yellow thing is going from zero, zero, zero to one, one, one. Okay. All right. Okay, and now, so what does that give you a guess for the hypercube, what you need to do? Well, so we need to, first we need to define how the fourth direction works when we only have three directions. Okay. So. So what we can, I guess first just define a zero, 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 zero. Okay. And that's, we're going to say it's this point here. All right. So then adding one gives us, you go one this way, one like that, one like this, or one like that. that. So I guess. Yeah, so what are my, what are my four coordinates? So mm. maybe, maybe just because it's getting to be such a mess here, I'll... We'll just do it only for the hypercube. So I start out with, I have our one, which was only zero, 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 zero. Mm -hmm. And then I had four, and what did that correspond to? So one, one, zero, 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 and zero, one, zero, zero. Zero, zero, zero one, one, zero, zero. Zero, zero, one, zero. Zero, zero, zero. Zero, 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 one. So that, so if you put the new fourth dimensional direction at the end, um, it corresponds to what we thought. So if you say this is x direction, you end up with this point, one, zero, 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 one, zero, zero, 
zero zero one zero and then zero 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 one. Okay, and what are my six going to be? Or first of all, why are there even going to be six in my next set? Well, it's four choose two, so uh -huh. you have to choose two out of the four to make into a, and turn in, turn into a zero, mm -hmm. into a one. So in this way of looking at it, we see very clearly why there's a six. Yeah. We get, we just have two coordinates that have to be not zero. Yeah. So, for example, what's one of one of the points in here. Oh, one, one, zero, zero. One, one, zero, zero. What does that correspond to on our hypercube? This point over here. All right, and give me a, you give me one that's not. Um, zero, one, zero, one. Zero, one, zero, one. Okay, great example. What does that correspond to in our hypercube? Um, so we said this was, so, so this is X and this is Y, so zero. So this is X, this is X. Yeah. Okay. So that's fine. So, Zero, so one in the Y, so uh -huh. over here, and then one in the W up here. Okay. Yep. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So now we're going to do an interesting experiment with angles and see if we can see how the angles evolve. Okay. Okay.